I could use the duration of this commercial to tell you why you should drink Red Bull. I could tell you all the bad things about coffee and how it leaves you smelly and generally unattractive. I could tell you about five hour energy with its mediocre flavor and lackadaisical kick. I could tell you that Red Bull is made from natural ingredients including caffeine, taurine, and other vitamins. I could tell you to go out right now and buy a can. I could tell you all these things, but I won't. I mean, why push it? Red Bull, it's wings when you need them. When the lights go down, the projector starts running. Welcome to the Sunset Cinema Evening Wrap-Up. I'm Eric Lefebvre, and these are the top cinema stories of the week. Select cinemas in Sweden this week began implementing a new rating system called the Bechtel Scale. Named after cartoonist Alison Bechtel, this system rates the duration and quality of conversation had by women in films as a means of bringing more women to the forefront of protagonist-based storytelling in cinema. Blockbuster has decided that they will put an end to all retail and DVD distribution as early as January 2014. This year's president and CEO, Joseph T. Clayton, commented saying, this is not an easy decision, yet customer demand is clearly moving towards digital distribution. For your box office update this week, I have a clear front runner. Ender's Game rings in in number one with a solid $28 million, while Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa comes in a mere second with $20.5 million. And Las Vegas comes in third this week with $16.5 million nationwide. Sweeping up the sunset as the sun goes down, I'm Eric Lefebvre reminding you that movie magic can be made anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. No matter where you are or what time it is, you can always enjoy a nice warm cup of coffee and a good conversation. Welcome to Around the Coffee Table. I'm Eric Lefebvre, and this week, let's talk Lynda.com. Joining me for this installment, please welcome to the show Mr. Doug Winnie of Lynda.com. Hi, thanks hey for Doug. having me. All right, so to start off, tell us a little bit about Lynda.com and what it's all about. So Lynda.com is an online training library that has thousands of courses of hundreds of thousands of videos that teach anyone how to do anything from video production to music production to learning how to make a website or a mobile application. You know, anything that you can think of, we can actually teach you at Lender.com. Wonderful. Now, your title there, you're a director of content. I'm the director of content, okay. which is a kind of a weird title, but essentially I'm the curriculum director for all the technical content at Lender.com. So, so we divide the library up into multiple segments. So I actually manage all the curriculum for developer, web, um, and also we're going into new areas like business intelligence where you can use big data and analytics to make business decisions. And then also around productivity tools like Microsoft Office and Google Apps. And then finally, I also, just because I really enjoy it, I also manage the music production uh, department at Lynda.com. Wonderful. Now, when it comes down to like green lighting courses, making sure which ones get on and which ones don't, how do you manage that? So every single year we do a significant amount of research that actually goes into member interviews, we do an industry analysis, we do surveys, we attend conferences and, and events worldwide to figure out what are the trends in each one of the various industries that we're going to be talking about. So for example, when we were starting to think about what, what are the, some of the challenges that are happening in information technology right now? There's a really big trend for small to medium businesses that need to move to cloud computing. Okay. So we would attend lots of conferences and things like that, and we would hear directly from people that would then translate into what our curriculum was going to be, which then goes into courses, which we then greenlight and then put into the library. Fantastic. But now, how long of a process is that, typically? Well, the research process is always ongoing. Okay. So that's, that's always going on in the background. Um, the actual development it takes for a course to go from greenlight to, to into the library can be anywhere from three months to as, as short as, a, as four hours. And that depends largely on the format of the, of the Depends video. on the format. And also, you know, for example, um, you know, Apple or Google, they'll do, a, they'll do an announcement about some new software. And those, those companies typically don't provide pre-release access to software because you know, they, they're very secretive and they don't want any leaks to come out. So generally, when they make an announcement, we have you know, the clock's ticking, and we have to immediately yeah. start making content. So then we usually have like a short course up in the library within a few hours. Awesome. Now, in your time that you've been with the company, how has the company grown from, I mean, how, how long have you been there to start? Well, I've been there for about two years. The company's okay. been around since the mid-90s. Okay. Um, it started off more doing instructor-based uh, instructor training. Uh, Linda Wyman and Bruce Haven, the two co-founders of the company, who Linda.com is named after. Yeah. Um, Linda is famous for doing the first book on web graphics. Okay. And um, so she started building a tr uh, a instructor-based training library 
But essentially, it just became too expensive to do. So then they decided to expand it into video training. And over the last you know, five years, it's gone up to almost 400 people from just a handful of people in Ojai, California. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, in the last two years, how has that grown? Well, let's see. I, when I first started, it, we had a library of about a library of about 700 videos. We now recently are going past 2,000. Uh, and the, you know, we're, from a company perspective, we've been growing probably, I think we're about 400 people right now. And we're a private company, so I can't really talk revenue, but you know, we exactly. definitely have grown in that way as well. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, coming into the company, what previous tech experience have you had? <laughs> um, so prior to working at lynda.com, I was a product manager at Adobe Systems. So I managed all of their interactive, um, interactive web and um, user experience applications. Okay. Fireworks, Dreamweaver, um, Edge Animate, you know, and all the former Flash products and Flex products. So I had a very, you know, big background with that. Prior to that, I worked at an agency where I would develop websites and web applications for multiple companies like Scion and Toyota. Even got nominated for a couple Webby awards for that. Awesome. And then I've always been a teacher as well. I actually am an instructor at San Francisco State um, where I teach web design and, and mobile application development. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, our cups are almost empty, which means we're just about out of time. Thank you, Doug, for giving us a little insight on Linda's world. Mm -hmm. I'm Erica Fleabree. Join us next week for a fresh cup around the coffee table. Communication. It is a skill that requires precision and practice. It is the fundamental piece that drives modern-day industry. It is what you need for your dream to thrive. With over six years in stage performance experience and two years in hospitality and service, I am ingrained with proper communicative technique. In my years as a teenage musician, navigating the workings of an underground music scene, knowing what to say, when to say it, and how to respond was the difference between gaining respect and being disregarded as an ignorant kid. As a customer service representative, Taking somebody's previously established problem and turning it into a positive experience is a daily responsibility. As media broadcasters, we tell stories. It is our job to communicate through presentation. It is our job to give people televised memories. I'm Eric Lefebvre, and I am your next television producer.